valve and explain to us what that means. Yeah, so the two main types of valve disease are either stenosis or regurgitation. Stenosis, again, just means that your valve is too closed and you're not being able to pass blood normally through the valve. Now, leakiness means that the valve is not closing in the right way, and instead of it going forward, it's actually going back into the um, chambers of the heart. So you can see here again, we have divide this into the right heart and the left heart. This heart is pumping up blood, but instead of it just going into the aorta, it's actually going from the left ventricle into the left atrium, and this is a finding that we see with mitral regurgitation. The reason it's mitral is because you have your mitral valve here, and it's leaking back. Do people with valve disease usually present with symptoms? Is this something that we can catch before it turns really badly? Yeah, so um, valve disease symptoms are very, um, can be very general and they can be very specific. It's really important to follow up with your cardiologist if you're having any symptoms such as shortness of breath or if you're not really doing the normal things that you can do every day as well as you want to do them. Mm -hmm. um, there are three categories of valve disease that we break into um, which are very important. One of them is being mild, the other one is moderate, and the other one is severe. So the reason that we've diagnosed made these three categories is because once you reach the severe category, that's when you would really warrant treatment and that's when we can make a big impact on a patient's life. Do these symptoms <clears throat> that people see vary depending on what form of valve disease they have or do the symptoms apply to both stenosis and regurgitation like chest pain, palpitation, fatigue, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, leg swelling, those are all the symptoms. Yeah, so either whether you have stenosis or regurgitation, there's a constellation of symptoms that actually overlap for both types of um, valvulopathies or um, valvular disease. Anytime that your heart is affected, whether it's stenosis or regurgitation, you're going to have problems pumping blood to the rest of the body. And because of that, you're going to have symptoms such as shortness of breath, whether it's stenosis or regurgitation. Um, just the mechanism behind it is a little bit different. And that also is important for us because that's what we need to focus on and what types of treatment we're going to provide those patients.